we are going to learn science of a good breath. We are working on the premise that we have already learned the art of diaphragmatic breathing. We have incorporated that into our lifestyle also. So what are the signs of a good breath? There are five signs of a good breath. Nasal. It has to be nasal all the way. You have to breathe through your nose only. Those who are breathing through their mouth, they have to switch over to the nasal breathing. Or they have to find out what is the reason why they are unable to breathe through the nose. Is there any mechanical obstruction? If it is so, then they have to go in for some procedure so that the mechanical obstruction can be removed. Second is noiseless. It has to be noiseless. There should be absolutely no noise when you are inhaling and exhaling. In fact, it has, should be so silent that the person who is sitting next to you should not be able to make out that you are breathing. Number three. It has to be rhythmical, smooth and without any jerk. If there, are, there is any jerkiness in your breath, that means either there is some disturbance at the emotional limbic system, that is emotional system, there is some derailment in the emotional system, or your respiratory muscles are not, they doesn't have good strength. You have to strengthen the respiratory muscle so that you can take care of the jerkiness part. So friends, nasal, noiseless, rhythmical, smooth without any jerks. Number four is there should be no pauses. No pauses anywhere in the breath cycle. No pauses between inhalation and exhalation. No pauses between exhalation and inhalation. Or no pauses anywhere in the breathing cycle. If there are pauses that indicate there is some diseased condition. So you have to take care. Either you are soon going to have some diseased condition or you are already diseased. That's why there is break in the breath cycle. So if you can take care of that breakage, you can make it a continuous effort. Inhalation followed by exhalation followed by inhalation. It has to be rhythmical. Just like in races you must have seen in in uh, those uh, one runner passes the baton without stopping, you don't have to stop anywhere. There should be no breaking. If there is any suspension of breath anywhere, you have to take care of that. I am not talking about suspension holding with awareness. This is I am talking when we are unaware. So we have to make sure there are no pauses in our breath cycle. As Swami Rama says, pauses means you are already diseased or soon going to have some disease. And number fifth is very, very important. IE ratio, inhalation, exhalation ratio. That means breathing in time and breathing out time. Exhalation has to be twice the length of inhalation. The length of exhalation has to be twice the length of inhalation. is three seconds, your exhalation should be six seconds. So make sure, if it is 2 seconds, it should be 4 seconds. If it is 4 seconds, it should be 8 seconds. So you have to work on various parts of the body, especially the respiratory system, so that you can increase the length of exhalation. Dear friend, if you go to any of the well-known sites, American Lung Foundation, British Lung Foundation, Indian Lung Association, then you will find that's too very, very important. They all ask you to do learn two techniques. One is diaphragmatic breathing. Second is you have to learn the art of increasing the length of exhalation. You will see how it is going to help us. Because if the length of exhalation is more, then you can throw out more toxins. Till the time you are exhaling, your bronchioles remain open and you are able to throw out the toxins. So, just trying to again remember those five good signs of a breath. No nasal, noiseless, no jerks, no pauses and I ratio of 1 is to 2. That means exhalation is twice the length of inhalation. 
In 90% of us, it has been seen that length of exhalation is shorter than the length of inhalation. So friends, you have to work on these signs, you have to work on various organs, various structures, various muscles, so that we can take care of these five good signs. So, not only we have to learn the art of diaphragmatic breathing, we have to incorporate these five good signs in that diaphragmatic breathing.